guys welcome back to my channel so first of all I would like to say happy new year to the few subscribers that I have and to everyone else who just happened to be viewing my video so I meant to do this video since December but got tied up with the Christmas season then I got the flu that's it it just threw me off with everything so today I will be doing my yearly favorites um, these are products that I have been using throughout the entire year. These are products that I do honestly love. Um, and these are products that I truly have been using. I don't use all of them on an every single day basis. All of these products are beauty products. These are products that I just naturally gravitate towards. Don't know why. So let's start off. I'll be doing this in like um, sort of like a category so first off I will start with hair products and these are products that whenever I wash my hair that's what I use on my hair so first off I have been loving the got to be guardian angel heat protectant this is the gloss finish blowout lotion I like to use this to protect my hair from the harshness of the heat from the blow dryer and this just basically helps prevent your hair from being fried basically in a nutshell that's what it is yeah so this is the got to be guardian angel heat protectant and this one also works up to 425 degrees fahrenheit but well, fahrenheit but i think it's demand celsius i'm not sure yeah so after that i would apply the bb cream by pantene this one I really really do like. This one I just take like a pea size amount and just apply it right throughout my hair, mostly towards the ends. It repairs rough hair, it strengthens against damage, it gives your hair that silky softness, it gives your hair brilliant shine, it's smoothing, it hydrates, it controls frizz, it also protects against heat. It makes your hair a lot more manageable, which I would agree, and a tame flyaway, which I don't think so. Because when I, as soon as I'm finished blow drying my hair, I do have lots of flyaway, but I use my other product to tame that. So yeah, so this one is the Pantene BB Cream. This is what I like to use in my hair. So the next one is the Marc Anthony Hydrating Coconut Oil and Shea Butter. This one is for all hair type. It's an ultra lightweight, non-greasy oil treatment. It supercharges healthier, faster hair growth. My hair grows like quickly. I don't know if it's this or, but then again, I don't really apply this to the roots of my hair. I just apply it from like the shaft, go all the way down. So this one I like to apply and then I would blow dry my hair. So when I'm finished blow drying my hair and my hair is all, you know, smooth, yeah, then I go in with the Pantene um, Smoothing Serum with Argan Oil. As you can see, it's almost finished. Because this is another product that I really do love. So when I'm finished blow drying my hair, this is the last step. I would put like a pea-sized amount and then I would rub it throughout my, ha my hands and then apply it. You know, just to tame the flyaway and to give my hair that, smooth, that smoothness. And it also smells great. Okay, so that was hair products. Next, I will be doing my, my face products. Okay, so the next product is the Sublime Radiance by L'Oreal. It's the Sensational Cleansing Oil. This product is a very good product. So this one I use to remove my entire makeup, face and eyes and neck. And it removes makeup in an instance, which is true. It also removes waterproof makeup, mascara, and it's non-greasy. When I'm ready to remove my makeup, I put like two or three pumps. Then I would rub it to, onto the palm of my hands and I would massage it onto my face. And, you know, it removes all the mascara, everything. Everything comes off in an instant. Um, it's a lot more gentler for me. Uh, instead of using the facial wipes, and you know rubbing and tugging on the skin especially around the eye area I prefer using the L'Oreal Sublime Radiance so it basically removes makeup in an instant 
So the next product is by Proactive Plus. This is the Skin Smoothing Exfoliator. This one I use like in the morning when I'm in the shower. So this one is always in my shower actually. I just put like a small amount onto my um, Clarisonic and I use that to massage. And it's it, it has tiny, tiny um, exfoliator beads in there. It feels sort of like sand, I want to say, but it's very, um, it feels very good on your skin and I know that my skin is being um, cleansed and it's gentle. Okay, so the next product is by Proactive again. This one is the Advanced Blemish Treatment, um, Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Treatment. Yeah, so this one I like to use on my pimples. Like whenever I break out and the pimple is there, after I finish cleansing my face with the um, smoothing exfoliator and my facial toner, I would go in with this. Just a tiny dot and then I would sporadically place it, you know, wherever I have pimples and then um, massage it into the pimple. And it really helps with the um, pimple. So the next product is my chapstick. I have used different chapsticks over the years, the chapstick brand. I have used the Bird Bees, I have used the Vino, I have used um, many other chapstick but, but this chapstick actually seems to be the best. I have one in my purse, I have one in my bathroom and I have one right here on my makeup desk. Um, so this one is the cocoa butter formula with vitamin E. It's the swivel stick. It's for marks, blemishes, and rough, dry skin. I use this as a chapstick, and it does really help with that chapped lip. Um, here in Canada, we have brutal weather. So your lips get very, very dry, very, very chapped. Sometimes your lip just like burns, and it burns like on the outer rim. You know what I mean. Yeah, it burns like right around and this honestly helps. I don't think I will be using any other chapstick besides this one. So this one is definitely in my yearly favorites. Best chapstick ever. And the next product is by Eucerin. Um, this one again, as I said, with the cold climate that we have here in Canada, my hands tend to get very dry, cracked, using chemicals like, you know, when I'm using like bleach and stuff, you know, my hands get really dry, cracked, flaky, um, you know, sometimes the tips would just crack, then sometimes the knuckles, the knuckle area would crack, and trust me, that one is a bit painful. So, so this is the only hand cream that I use. I've used many other hand creams and they just don't seem to work. And it's a repair hand cream with 5% urea. So it says here it intensively replenishes dry, rough and chapped hands. It helps protect hands from drying effects of cold weather. It contains no added fragrance or colorants to minimize the risk of skin irritation and allergies. It's non-greasy and absorbs quickly. Best, best hand cream. So these rest of products now are all makeup. Yeah, so the next product is by IT Cosmetics. It's the Feel the Moment Anti-Aging Ultra Hydrating Sensory Awakening Primer Serum. I use this one when I finished applying my eye cream and my eye serum. I put just like a pea-sized amount. As you can see, it's almost finished. I use this one every day, twice a day. I just love the smell of this as well. It's very, I don't know, it, I don't know how to describe the scent, but it's, it's invigorating. It basically, it sort of relaxes you. I use this before I apply my moisturizer. So I have no moisturizer in this video only because I'm still looking for that moisturizer, that great moisturizer. So let's move on to foundation now. Let me start by saying this is my favorite foundation for the winter months. So this is a NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. So November, December, January, February, March, mm, April, 
when my skin has become a little bit lighter after the summer, um, this foundation works best for me. When the warmer months are here, then I switch it up. But honestly, this one is truly, truly beautiful foundation. This is what I'm wearing. And the thing is with this foundation, in the winter months, I just apply it on my face only. I don't apply it on my neck because it blends in seamlessly. So with any of my foundation, whether it be summer months, cooler months, I like to apply some of the, um, the Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. So I mix this a little bit into my foundation and then I apply it on my skin and it gives my skin that sort of luminous glow. But it's a very gentle luminous glow. So with the foundation, I like to use my Tarte Bamboo as you can see. It's dirty because this is all I seem to be using. Um, yeah, it's very fluffy. It basically um, shares the foundation out effortlessly. Unlike the Beauty Blender, it takes a little bit more work with the Beauty Blender. But with this one, effortlessly, quickly, no time. You know, my foundation is quickly done. So this one I just love. I have been gravitating towards this one every single time I would apply my makeup. Next would be my concealers. So I have three concealers that I truly love. So the first concealer is by MAC. It's the Pro Long Wear Concealer. And my shade is NW35. So this is the best concealer overall. I probably have like this much left. This is a concealer that I gravitate towards as well. Like I have a bunch of concealers, but nothing compares to this one. The next concealer that I do like is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And my shade is in medium dark to caramel. So this concealer uh, is what I'm wearing today. Um, I have severe dark circles under my eyes and I don't think there is a concealer that actually hides my dark circle or maybe I, I tend to go like a little bit too dark but then I don't want to go too light where you can see the huge difference I don't know but this concealer is another one that I really love this concealer is by Estee Lauder it's a double wear concealer my shade is 4N medium deep neutral this one I use like to spot conceal you know for instance when the pimples when the breakouts that you have is all dried up and it leaves that black scar I use this one to just spot conceal and this is truly my favorite concealer for spot concealing okay so moving on to eyeshadow primers is the it's by NARS it's the Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This one, pretty obvious, it's an eyeshadow base. Um, this one you would apply before your eyeshadows, you know, prevent creasing and all that stuff. So next product is by Makeup Forever. It's the Micro Finish Powder. This is just the smaller size as I was checking out from Sephora. I had actually picked up the, the bigger size but then I said you know what I'm just gonna pick up the smaller size see if I like it first if I like it then I can purchase the bigger size when this is finished and I do like it. This face powder is the best powder to set the makeup. This is what I'm wearing. Okay next would be my eyeshadow palette. Now I have just one eyeshadow palette that I that I really love and it's by Lorac. It's the Lorac Pro. Yeah, these are the shades. I have used all these shades except two. Except the light pink and the nude. Those are the only two shades that I haven't touched. But everything else on this palette I do like. So this is my favorite palette overall compared to all the other palettes that I own. The next one are just eyeshadows by MAC. I don't think I'm going to go through each and every single, you know, eyeshadow. But basically these are the colors that I gravitate towards. You know, I like creating nude looks and this is basically what I like. When I create my pink look, this is basically what I use. 
I do have a lot more different eyeshadow palettes, but I just gravitate towards these colors. Those are the eyeshadows by MAC. Next product would be the Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light um, by Hourglass. Looks like that. So, yeah, this is the only highlighter that I have been truly loving. It's what I'm wearing. It's a very gentle, soft highlight. It's not like, it's not too glittery or shimmery or anything like that. It has a little bit of shimmer in, it, in there, but it gives you that light from within. You get me. My favorite bronzer would be by Too Faced. It's the Beach Bunny Custom Blend Bronzer. And it looks like that. I'm not wearing this one today, but that's what it looks like. Um, you can also use the lighter shades, you know, to highlight. But I just swirl it all around and I bronze my, you know, my forehead my cheek area. So this is another product that I have been using like every single time I would do my makeup this is what I would bronze with. My two favorite blushes are by MAC. They are Copper Tone and Mocha. They are both matte blushes. This one is more warmer tone. This one that I had purchased from the eye mats. This one is Desert Rose. This is what I'm wearing on my cheek today. This one is also beautiful. I do love MAC blushes, um, but these are my two favorites. Yeah, so my next product that I really love and have been using consistently throughout the year is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Okay, so the next two products are the eyeliners. So this one is by Kat Von D. It's the eyeliner in Trooper, as I mentioned this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite liners. The next one that I do really love is by Flower. It's the marker and it looks like that. So this one, you can create a thin line or you can create a very thick line. Um, this one I also have been using consistently. Um, sometimes when I don't use my Kat Von D, this is what I gravitate towards. Quick and easy eyeliner. So the next product that I love is the Marc Jacobs Eyeliner. It's the Highliner Gel Crayon. I use this one to tight line. If you remember in one of my previous videos, I did mention that I have been looking for an eyeliner that has the staying power, that, ha that is long wearing and that has that staying power. Well, I think I found my eyeliner and this is it. This one has that staying power and it's long lasting. This is just the black shade. So the next two eye pencils would be this one by NARS. It's the Larger Than Life long wearing eyeliner pencil in Ruth Bonaparte. It's like a flesh tone color. Um, I can't seem to use like white. The white seems too harsh. You know. Uh, on my skin tone but this one is perfect. The next eye pencil that I have been loving is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. It's from the Naked 3 palette. It comes dual ended and this side would be the dark side. They both need sharpening. Just, that's just to tell you how much I use these things. And this side is Black Heart. Yeah, so one of my favorite eye pencils. Okay, so the next pencils will be lip pencils. And they are by MAC. And they are magenta, spice, and cherry. So these are the three lip pencils that I just gravitate towards again. But when I'm using my red lipstick, I use my cherry. When I'm using my nude color lipstick or any other shade lipstick I would use the spice and when I'm using my hot pink lipstick I would use my magenta. Now on to the last set of beauty products would be my lipsticks. These are all my lipsticks that I truly truly love. So the first two would be by Revlon. It's shameless and showy. So this one is showy 
I love this pink and this one is shameless I would pair these up together normally that's what I do I basically line my lips with this one and then I go in with this one and I create that sort of ombre lip and it's really pretty I did take a photo of this one on Instagram um, if you check out my Instagram account you can see that the next product would be by it cosmetics it's the lip gloss in naturally flushed and it looks like this so this one I would top with all of my nude lipsticks so the next lipsticks that I really love is my Mac is myth now that's the actual color there, not the top. The reason why the top has a different color is because I basically use spice to fill in my whole lip and then I go in with myth to get that perfect nude lip for my skin tone. The next one is Riri Woo. So this one is my favorite red lipstick. Whenever I'm wearing red lipstick, this is what I'm wearing, except today. So what I have on my lips today is Current Lip Liner and a lipstick by Stila. Okay, so the next few lipsticks that I also love is this shade by Buxom. It is Mistress. This is one of my favorite pink lipstick. This one complements my skin tone perfectly. The next lipstick that I have been loving is by NARS. And this shade is Barbarella. Um, it's sort of like a corally lipstick and this one complements my skin tone great as well. Last but not least, the next lip gloss would be by Maybelline. It's number 060 Nude Illusion. And it looks like this. It's another nude lip gloss. This one also complements my skin tone perfectly as well. Okay, so the last product that I love is a fragrance by Marc Jacobs. I think this is the Daisy scent. I'm not too sure. I think it is the Daisy scent. Okay, guys, so that has been my favorite products of the entire year. As I said, these are products that I truly, truly love. And these are products that I use, you know, Every time I'm doing my makeup or my skincare or whatever, these are products that I truly use. So, with that said, I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.